Hey, what's happening, Steve Heads? How you doing? How you been? What's happening? What's happening? What's good? Hey, before we get this video started, you already know, go and smash that thumbs up. You know what we're trying to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this video, we got that what? Weekly. Baby. The weekly that heat. weekly heat. Yes, sir. So these are the hottest Georgia's that are coming out from the August the 25th to the 31st. I'm going to go ahead and start it off. So on August the 28th, we do have a fire hot shoe, in my opinion. This is the Jordan 17 University Blue, a.k.a. UNC. And, you know, I do rock those UNC colorways. Hey, if you want to see my collection, hey, comment down below. Show me your collection of UNC shoes so I can show you that. I'd love to do the video for y'all, but let me know if y'all want to see that or not. Uh, so these shoes are coming out at a price point to three hundred dollars as we know this is the second colorway that's releasing in these these haven't been re retro in a long time as you know we saw the lightnings come out and the lightnings did sell out as well i assume that these will be coming with the briefcase as well but to me, this is a more colorway that I'm more interested in. The raffles are being open. It's rumored that this shoe is supposed to be releasing on Nike sneakers app as well, but I haven't seen them loaded on there. So if that's not true, please let me know. But right now, there are a lot of boutiques that is carrying this on their raffle site. So please see the link in the description if you want to know where all the raffles are at. There's too many to name. But overall, this is a clean shoe for the summer. Again, it will kind of remind you of those Jordan 9s that I just for you to go ahead and check out that video right there if you haven't done so already but the predominantly the shoe is all white and it does have that unc midsole which i do love and we move around to the bottom of the shoe we do see that nice traction that this has and with those unc paws at the bottom with that jordan jump man and unc and moving around to the side view we do have that chrome piece that everyone does like and again this is just a simple clean shoe move around to the back we do have that og branding with the Nike Jumpman Jordan in white. They did a really good job, kept it clean. I'm not sure if the original ones were exactly the same, but let me know down in the comments, Nick Heads, because I do not own this pair, believe it or not. But it does come with that sock liner, which I think is a nice touch for these shoes. As well as we look at the sock liner on the inside, we do have that Jordan Jumpman in that UNC colorway. Move around to the tongue and the toe of the shoe. We do see that white, all white shoe strings. It does have that Jordan tag in the front. Again, you can see that booty protruding out through the tongue. Do you think that's a nice touch? Again, this shoe is very simple and clean for the summertime. Let me know what you think about these, but I am rocking these. How about you, my brother? What do you think about these? You know, I'm about I'm about stylish, and this shoe is not that. With that, <laughs> nah, not even close. You know, <laughs> not even close. I'm all about how can I tie this shoe into a wardrobe, into an outfit, and I don't see it at all. I don't see it at all. <laughs> I will be dropping those. I will be dropping those. Hey, drop us a comment down below if you rocking those or dropping those. Yes, sir. So moving on, what we got next, my brother? So on uh, August the 29th, we do have Air Jordan 1 Low OG Oxidized Green. This is a women's pair of shoes. Price point for them is $140. Forty. This shoe here is just a very simple shoe. Basically, this shoe is just showcasing the all yeah Chris White with that oxid Nike swoosh on it. Um, what I'm really like about this shoe is the gum bottom, right? What they did with the the outsole of the shoe itself. I love that midsole of the sail. Just keeping this shoe nice and simple. The only problem I do have with this shoe is the price point. One forty, you know, is way too much. But with Jordan Brand, you may want to look at going different with that because the price point of 140 women ain't trying to spend no 140 on a pair of shoes but this is a clean fall shoe i will be rocking those because i'm a one fan right and i will be rocking those what you, what about you my brother oh i was gonna give these a thumbs down but now that i'm looking more in the picture i'm gonna give these a thumbs up because it does have that aged midsole and like you said that gum bottom does work with the shoe as you know the oxidized force are sitting so i do not expect this shoe to sell out but i do think it's a clean colorway for the summer and I can see you putting a nice fit with these. It kind of reminds me of the Gazelles, the same model of the shoe and this is a more affordable Jordan like I do agree my brother said. These are expensive. Maybe Jordan brand could make these come out for 120 maybe and then the, the regular ones, you know, used to be 110 the regular ones are now 125 so everything's just getting so expensive that we now have to be a lot more selective with our shoes so I do expect this uh, shoe to sit but I am rocking 
rocking these? Let us know down in the comments, sneaker heads. Are you rocking these or dropping these? So moving on to the last shoe on the list of the week. On August the 31st, we're doing Jordan 3 Cement Gray. This does come at a hefty price point for these of $200. Again, I think this Jordan 3 is worth $200. I am a fan of the threes, and I'm going to say no up front. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, this shoe is a white shoe, and it does have darker hits of that elephant gray on the side, on the toe box and the heel pattern. Nothing special that we haven't seen before. Kind of gives me that cool gray feeling, because it does have that gray along the midsole. As we're looking at the midsole, it is kind of like a aged out a little bit, and I don't know if it really works for this shoe, but I don't like it because that gray against the dark gray doesn't really contrast well, in my opinion, but let me know down in the comments. And then, as you see it, the bottom it does have that gray bottom i do think that's a nice touch with the gray bottom because you won't have to worry about getting these dirty and the bottom does have that red pod as well as that dark gray jordan in gray i wish jordan on the outsole was red to match pod, but i'm not mad at these because no one's going to see the bottom of the shoe uh, looking around the back of the shoe we do have the standard regular jordan jump man again and it looks like a black or dark gray uh, again this sh probably should have been red maybe to match the toe box then look at the tongue we do have that Jordan Jumpman in red. Like I said in my last video, I do like the Jordan Jumpmans in red. That is my favorite color for the Jumpman, so I do really love that. Uh, one of the good things about this pair is you will have the sock liner is gray, so you won't have to worry about getting the sock liner all dirty. But I do expect these shoes to sit. Again, if you didn't weren't able to pick up the Jordan 3 white cement, then this might be a runner-up to get you an all-white pair. Threes. I do see these sitting for, for $200, and then we also also have other fire pairs coming out soon so uh i am dropping these <laughs> What do you think about these, my brother? Price point for 200 bucks is a little steep, but I really like this shoe. I really do. That's that sock line. I think Jordan brand need to go. If they go on basically all white shoe, you know, make sure that your sock liner go complement that shoe. And that sock liner does complement that shoe. The red jump man, I'm really digging that. I just wish they can actually add more red to the shoe, right? I think it'll bring right. you a little bit more than just having it as a I jump, agree. right? But overall, yeah. I do like mm -hmm. this shoe price point or two i can see it sitting but i will be rocking those i will be rocking those but drop us a comment down below if you rocking those or dropping those and if you guys continue to love content like this hey check out that video right there and like we say for sure when you're blessed hey bless others Peace. Peace.